Keep your distance, monsieur. Okay, okay. Now, what were you looking for? Terrorists. The meanest, nastiest, dirtiest bunch of guys you ever saw. Ah, uh -huh. Englishmen without a doubt. The filthy dogs. The day they opened that tunnel was a bad day for France, I'll tell you. If I still had the full use of my faculties, I'd march right over there and tell them so. Well, whoever they are, they blew up the café. What? The café? Blown up? Mon Dieu! That is awful! The guy who did it was a calculating, cold-blooded killer. He was disguised as a clown. I followed him into the sewer, and I think he came this way. Ah, mon dieu! Then, the man I chased, do you think that man and the clown are one and the same? Well, yes, it had crossed my mind. Ah, that still does not explain what you are doing down the sewer. For all I know, you are in league with him. Oh no, I'm just a tourist. <laughs> Most tourists are content with the Eiffel Tower, the Louvre, or the Pigalle. I didn't realize my waste pipes were such an attraction. Was the guy you saw carrying a briefcase? I, I, I didn't notice. Uh, now are you going to leave, or do I have to call the police? Do you know the waitress at the cafe? Oh, uh, she isn't hurt, is she? No, she's fine. Oh, thank heavens. A poor girl like her isn't safe with the likes of you roaming the streets. Can't you understand? I'm not a gangster. I'm an American tourist. <laughs> ah, that's what you say. Does the name Plantar mean anything to you? No, it doesn't. Who is he? The man who was killed in the cafe. I'm going to find the guy responsible. I'll find him, even if it means following him down every sewer in every city in Europe. Ah, you'll need some sensible boots. You won't get far in those stupid sneakers. Tell me about the man you apprehended. <laughs> what is there to tell? He was a typical criminal type, <laughs> just like you. Perhaps you'd like to take a look at my card? Mm -hmm. What is this? Inspector Augustin Rosso? What does that say? Hominoid division? A homicide. I think the ink's smudged. Mm -hmm. Then you are not a tourist. Okay, I'm not. I lied to you. And I'm sorry. Don't apologize, monsieur. You know, I had a feeling there was something different about you. It is your posture, your your poise. Oh yes, there is no mistaking the bearing of a, a disciplined man. And uh, I should know. I was in the army, you know. When I was your age, I was fighting for my life in the African desert. Uh, how can I help you, Inspector? Let's start over from the beginning and tell it just like it was. Was the guy you saw carrying a briefcase? Why, yes, he was, clutched in his arms like a baby. That belonged to his victim. Oh, what do you think was in it? Drugs? Stolen jewels? I don't know, but the killer thought it was worth a man's life. <laughs> Nothing is worth that, monsieur. Do you know the waitress at the cafe? Oh, you, you, you can't suspect her, surely. Just answer the question, please. Yes, uh, I know her quite well, you could say. Uh, she came to work at the cafe oh, uh, six, uh, seven months ago. I look forward all week to the relief she gives me when she visits. Really? So you'd miss her if she wasn't there? Oh, mais oui! Who else would I find to cut my toenails? Does the name Plantar mean anything to you? No, monsieur. Who is he? The man who was killed in the cafe. I'm going to find the guy responsible. I'll find him. 
even if it means following him down every sewer in every city in Europe. Bravo! Tell me about the man you apprehended. <laughs> he was a mean one, monsieur. He grabbed me in an arm lock, his face suddenly next to mine. His grip was like iron, but he did not know what he was up against. Oh no, he made a big mistake when he took on one of the desert hyenas. Yes, yes, I get the picture. Does this piece of material mean anything to you? Ah, that is the same cloth as the jacket I found. I'd recognize that pattern anywhere. Now, about the jacket you found, do you have it here? No, monsieur. One of the sleeves was badly torn, so I sent it for repair. <laughs> a pity, because otherwise it was a fine piece of quality tailoring. It had the tailor's name inside on the label. Where did you send the jacket? I gave it to an itinerant Romani seamstress. Just my luck. Was there anything in the jacket pockets? Mm -hmm. Not a sou. You know what I think? Do tell me. Mm -hmm. He changed out of the clown suit and cunningly disguised himself as an ordinary person. Hmm. Looks like I'm up against a mastermind. What was the name on the label? Ah, it was a foreign name. Todrick, I think. Did you get the address? There wasn't one, monsieur. Only a telephone number. Well, I don't expect you to remember a phone number you've only seen once. 74 98 59 You're kidding. That's his phone number? Yes, that's it. A little secret number that I learned in the desert. I was taught the technique by a Tuareg chef. That's incredible. <laughs> it comes in handy at the supermarket checkout. Do I get a reward? Honesty, monsieur, is its own reward. Then I'm glad I do not rely on honesty to pay the bills. I have to be going. Thanks to your help, the citizens of Paris can sleep a little easier tonight. Raymond, I was only doing my duty, monsieur. Good luck, inspector. I hope you catch that killer soon. I'll let you out. Find your man on the 